that early. that early. The males become sexually mature at about six. Okay. But a six-year-old male is not going to have many opportunities to mate because all the during all the birthing, yeah. the big males are here yeah. to to make sure he does not right. mate. Right, right, right. I see. Yeah. Because a male, when he's a dominant okay. alpha male. Yeah. Wants to make a call. And is there like only one would be on this? No, piece? no, no, no. There would be six or seven, seven? along okay, here. Okay. And, and it's not, it's not like uh, harem, 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 it's harem, harem, overlapping, and the two alphas get tolerant of each other a little uh, more so, okay. unless they really infringe on the other one's territory. Okay. Harems are more of a territorial thing. Okay. The male kind of says, "This is my area." As the females come in and give birth there, he will protect that female from harassment of other oh, male okay. seals. So it actually is protected for the females too, giving him the breeding rights to that female. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Wow. There's a lot going on down there. <laughs> most, most people today, don't today have Today being a cool day, they're much more active than if it was a real hot sunny day, they would be just laying back. Okay. <laughs> This is a good day because it's cool enough to live there. Yeah. And I'm just going to walk down here because I did see a large female down here. It's a good sized male right yeah. here. Yeah. Once the nose starts developing, you know it's a male. And once it gets to a certain size, you know it's a male because the females are only, like, like we said, yeah. they only get up to 12 feet long and right. they only get up to about 15 less than 2,000 pounds. Right. What's the difference in the nose? The nose is, the, what is the, what? The male-female nose is how you tell it? The, you the said? females don't grow the nose. The, the, the females always keep the pointed seal-like nose. Oh. The males grow that, that long The nostril. Nose. I think it's more of a secondary sex characteristic. They use it to display their dominance. So when they put their head back and blow that nose up and trumpet, that is what kind of scares off the, the lesser males. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it pretty obvious. So the, the females have the pointier nose, huh? And nose, the development at five, the nose just starts hanging over the edge. Yeah. By the time they're six, they have a hook nose in the beginning of a development of a chest shield. By the time they're seven, and they actually are more like ten by the time they reach that alpha status, okay. where they can hold down an, an area, an right? area, yeah. and, and you know ward off all other uh, seals. And if you look at these pictures, these. This is developmental. The, the chest shield is developmental. But by the time they're seven or eight, their back is just loaded with scars. Uh, yeah. If they've been in battle and challenged for, for a harem, yeah. they have wounds. Okay, yeah. Is that, is that a scar on that guy? That is a scar on that guy, but it could be from many, many different things. Okay. It doesn't look like a fighting scar. This is what they fight with. Oh, okay. But you, you look at this picture here, you know, that skull is this big. Oh, wow, yeah. That's huge. Wow. Well, they look like their their teeth. Even here, they look. Some of them are look like they're pretty, pretty. But big. but even though you'll see a mouth at each other when they let go, there's no blood. <laughs> yeah. And if they were serious, they could draw blood with those. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is, it does appear like they're just playing around half the time here. Right. Differentiation in their uh, longevity. Okay. One of the reasons that there there's something called bimorphic when a a species, especially a mammalian species of animals, has a much larger male than the female. The, the larger the differentiation in size, some guy told me this that was here, that actually had a degree in biology and was studying primates. Okay. He said, gorillas are biomorphic. Yeah. The male gorilla is much larger than the female gorillas. They also have a shorter lifespan than the female. So the larger the differentiation in size in a biomorphic species, the shorter life the male has in comparison to the female. Okay. Now that might be factual, right, right, right. but it does make sense. Yeah, it does make sense. For us it works. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely, the male is definitely going to be Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. 1990. How do you think 90 and 2002, this was all open. You could just walk down. Okay. And who did that? In 97, the Friends of the Elephant Seals came along and said, we've got to educate people about elephant seals because it's dangerous to the people and it's not comfortable for the animals. Right. Plus, in, in the late 70s, when the Sea Mammal Act was passed by the federal government, it said, thou shalt not harass any sea mammal. And if you're going down on the beach and walk amongst them, you're harassing them. Yeah, oh yeah, I can see. So, so that, that could be, if you walk down there, I could, I could call the, the uh, ranger and, and he could uh, find that as harassment yeah. and rights to take. Yeah. Wow. One of the
one of the other things that kind of lets you know that birthing is about to take place is the birds will start gathering around because the birds are clean up after, uh, after birth. Okay. You know, they yeah. clean up all the after birth within five minutes of the birth. Oh, wow. That's pretty amazing. Nature works together, huh? Another thing you, that, that it'll be okay to be on a video on that. If you notice, there's all these animals down here and you don't see any uh, stool on the beach. Definitely. They don't eat while they're here. They fast the whole month. Thus, they don't have to eat yeah. crap all over the beach. Which, yeah. and, and a fish eating animal crapping all over the beach, I don't know if we want to stand up. Yeah, there yeah. <laughs> they don't. They don't just eat don't. For a there's month, no, huh? there's no, they don't eat for a month. The males during breeding season don't eat for three months. You can lose up to 2,000 pounds. Man. Lose. Yeah. So like, like in January, you'll find the most big males here. When's the best actually, time? actually, you'll see a lot of big males here in late July and August. Late That's July? when they're here to molt. They wow. have the beach to themselves at that time. Okay. But um, January is the, the most active. I always say during January the males are very intolerant of each other. A male will not allow another male near him. Okay. But in August when they're here to molt, they lay out here like a cord of wood. Okay. Good. Thank you for all the education. You're welcome. <laughs>